Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for whatever time you're viewing this video. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, the title of this video is called Diary Series. And I just want to come on here and talk about my personal struggles that I'm going through and um, just how God is using those different situations in order to help stretch me and grow me. Um, so lately I've been really struggling with my flesh. flesh. Is just a term for this sin nature that we have. We've inherited it from Adam and Eve, just so you know what I'm referring to. So it's been a real struggle, um, with my quiet time and I'm just realizing with tithing and just even as something simple as praying at night before I go to bed like I will think about it but then I'm like no for and I won't do it for whatever reason it could be I want to finish my show or it could be you know I have this work to do or I'm tired or whatever a list of reasons so my thought process is why am I struggling so much in this area when I know that I want to have a relationship with God and I was listening to a sermon and it pretty much dawned on me how easily I forget or how easy um, it is for me not to remember all the things that God has done for me. And I think about it, I think about it quite often. Um, for example, the other day I was just, I kept thinking like, wow, it's going to, it's going on two years that I haven't been in a relationship with a guy and that's really long for me. Uh, I mean, I wasn't even able to go six months without talking to a guy. So two years, like it's night and day for me now that I've really f been focusing on my relationship with God. So, you know, I think about those things, but do they marinate into my spirit? Do they cause me to be ever grateful to God? And the answer is no, it doesn't appear so. And so... I'm really going to be trying to do that, remember just everything that he's done for me. Like, I really shouldn't be here. And that's what the um, pastor in the sermon, he kept saying, like, you really shouldn't be here. And God has brought you so far. And if he has your heart, then that is where your treasure will be. And I'm so selfish with my time. I'm so selfish with just my you know with my finances i i really realize i really am selfish and i know i want a relationship with god that's not a question for me so for me to be struggling it's really just it's puzzling to me i'm i'm really confused so um i'm really gonna try to 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 make it a priority to be grateful to to do things even when i don't feel like it because I know that I'm doing it for God and that excites me and I want to my thing is I, I get excited all the time I just got to hold on to that excitement and carry it through um so when I was um doing some reading this morning and I'm gonna read Exodus 13 verse 9 says and it shall and it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine hand. It is the uh, King James Version. <laughs> and for a memorial between thine eyes that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. And um, just a little just a little backstory. So the Egyptians, this was when they first got out. I mean, sorry, not the Egyptians. Um, the Israelites. They were just delivered um, out of the hand of the Egyptians and they were in the wilderness and God was setting up some things. Um, and so, you know, th this ties into perfectly into my life. Like the Lord has been delivering me from some Egyptians and um, he continues to work on me. And so the things that he has delivered me from i need to keep those before my eye for before my eyes i need to make a memorial of those things in my mind so i don't forget so i don't become so 
wrapped up in myself because that's pretty much what it is. Even in my quiet time this morning, you know, I was just asking God, like, I know I want a relationship with you. So why is this so hard? And I, I mean, I know the flesh is the flesh, but why is it so hard? And it pretty much was like, very clear because you he was saying to me because you think your life is your own i really want to take that and imp and put that into my day-to-day -day living like just realizing my life is not my own my life is not my own and that's helped me before um that's helped me from stopping from having sex um, that was the verse that I used to hold on to for that and it, it, it still applies in this area when I'm struggling with my selfishness and just not wanting God to have anything and well not anything but a lot of me um, so <laughs> he's he, he's been patient and you know I just wanted to come on here and share like this walk like I said in my previous video, like it is a journey and every day is going to be a challenge and you have to keep fighting through, pressing through. Don't give up. Fight until you have some kind of resolution. Um, don't give up. Don't just let your flesh win. But if you choose God, if you know he's done some things for you, if you know he's delivered you from some things that have kept you in bondage, like if you know that and you and you want to explore more, don't be afraid to just lay that at his feet. Tell him like, hey, look, I'm struggling with this thing, Lord, and keep bringing it before his face. Do not give up. It's so easy to say, like, wow, this is difficult. I don't have time for this. I'm not going to do this. I, you know, it was a lot less complicated when I was out doing my own thing. Let me just go back to doing that and be that person. But I know for me, that's not happening. It's nothing for me. It's nothing for me in the clubs. It's nothing for me just having sex. It's nothing for me out here to get drunk like that's my past that's where i came from and now that i've experienced better like i want to keep doing better i want to keep growing in my relationship with god so i'm not giving up and i encourage you whoever's watching this video don't give up do not give up so be encouraged keep your faith in god don't 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 give up on what he is capable in doing so um you all enjoy your day have a good day and just be encouraged stay encouraged don't give up on your situation i'll catch you guys on the next one